We will do whatever we have to do to protect American interests. So now we have to back into, well, what are those American interests? And at, what would that mean or look like if there was a problem? Uh, I do believe in diplomacy. That's the diplomatic work that I've done in Africa with the president of South Sudan. I encouraged him with good governance. I have met with the ministers in office of the president with Ghana and with Malawi and um, Kenya uh, and a number of, of, of nations. I addressed the Chinese leaders and, and Communist Party in Beijing, China, uh, on the U.S.-China trade war in 2017. And uh, so, you know, I, I am used to going in and, and, and speaking truth in these, in these matters because I believe in diplomacy. Uh, I, I, even the Chinese, even though we vastly disagreed on the way forward, they celebrate deceit and dishonesty in business as a virtue. And in the American Western culture, we see that as a sin or as a flaw, a character flaw. Uh, well, that means that we're always going to disagree on how to do things. Uh, but we can still be respectful in our dialogue one to another. And we were able to gain consensus on that. And so um, uh, I do not want to involve America in wars not belonging to us or conflicts not belonging to us. I believe that people groups, there are, there are unique cultures on earth, and many of these have to be resolved within themselves, not through American interference. It's kind of like in your family, every family uh, dynamic, if you get enough, if you go out far enough, you have your family unit, mother, father, mother, children, you go out a little farther, you have in-laws, you have cousins, you go out further and you have more relatives. Families oftentimes fight and have disagreements among themselves, right? Well, that's the way it is with cultures. But it's interesting. We could be fighting each other in our family. And then someone from the outside attacks our family. And all of us immediately go, oh, huh, you don't attack our family. And we go attack. That's the way I view it with many cultures and nations, is when we try to interfere we're not fixing the problem. We might think we are. Uh, we're usually exacerbating the problem. Uh, a lot of times we don't even under, fully understand the problem as we've seen in Sudan uh, with some of the warring factions. We have our way of our vision of how we want to see peace, but uh, it is not the kind of peace that will last for centuries. So I do agree and believe that my, my foreign policy as it relates to like Taiwan and China, for example, that's the of the most importance right now to Americans is and to the next president because if we are in a war with China, at this point, if it if it was today, it would be over China taking uh, action against Taiwan that the America deems unacceptable, and uh, we've had a one America has had a one China policy, uh, but we also have interests in Taiwan, and so I am not a fan of fighting for other nations' independence. Um, that is something I think they need to work out between themselves. So I am not a, do not interfere in, uh, other countries issues. I believe we should stay out of those, uh, and let them resolve themselves. Uh, and the only time we involve ourselves is when American interests are at stake. We obviously live in a global world. And I mean, we have assets, property, bases, citizens, spread all over the world, uh, the United States. We have to protect those. Uh, so if there are factions within a government, a rogue government or the sitting government, uh, then then we have to protect those, whatever they mean. But it does not mean, uh, in my estimation, the problem is we always either do too much or not enough. And I think it takes wisdom and discernment and good judgment which is why it is which is why I'm running for president because I haven't seen a candidate at all in our lineup uh for this for 2024 president that I believe will govern with sound wisdom and good judgment and with discernment uh they're too they follow too much of party line party thinking you know this whole country is bad this whole country is good and governments have problems but even the governments that I have problems with or America has problems with, there are good people in those countries. The Russian government has been anti-American, but
but there are a lot of wonderful Russians. The Ukrainian government, we, you know, we have we have friends in all countries of the world because we are all one people. Um, so I don't view the people as America's enemies. I view certain regimes that are leading certain countries as America's enemies.